Hi kids! Today we will learn more about reflection. So let's get started. Kids, we now know that we see each and everything because of the reflected light from it. Now let's try to understand what is this reflection. Reflection involves two rays. One is the incoming ray and the other one is reflected ray or the outgoing ray. When light falls on any surface, some is absorbed and some part of it is reflected back. And the outgoing ray and the incoming rays have the same angles but in opposite sides of the normal. This dotted line is called normal, which is an imaginary line. Normal is at the right angle to the surface of the object. All reflected light obeys the relationship that the angle of incidence always equals the angle of the reflection. Whatever will be the angle of incident ray equal will be the angle of reflected ray from the normal. But depending on the surface on which it falls, the reflection can be secular or diffuse. Let's see. When the surface is plain, all the light rays are incident on the smooth surface in a bundle and all of them reflect back as the same bundle of rays. Such reflections off the smooth surfaces is called secular reflection. Images produced through secular reflection are clear images. Example, image formed in a mirror. Image formed in still water. Image formed on a shiny glass. Diffuse reflection. The light rays will be reflected in different directions. Or bundle of light will diffuse in many directions. And images produced through such diffuse reflection are not clear images because the light incident from the source is diffused now, so you cannot get the clear image of the source from which the light is coming. For example, images formed in water, which is windblown. The picture is not clear, that is, hazy, because the light coming from the source is now reflected from the uneven water surface in many directions. And the result is a disrupted image. And the reflection from such rough surface is called diffuse reflection. Here we have a room. We have different things here. This flower pot, this scenery, this vase, this bedded linen, pillows, this door, this window, this mirror, this tumbler. What do you observe? You can see everything. And you can also see a reflection in this mirror, on this tumbler, and even this pot. Why? Because these three things, this pot, this tumbler, and this mirror, the surface is extremely smooth, and the light reflected from them is an example of specular reflection. That is, all the light is being reflected in the same direction. But you are not able to see your own image in this curtain, your floor, on the bed linen, on the pillows, and on the doors. Why? Because the surface is not minutely smooth. Even the fabric has roughness. Even the door has some roughness. Very minute roughness. All this roughness leads to diffuse reflection. That is the light falling on these things. 
diffuse in many directions and does not reflect in the same direction. And that is why you are not able to see your image in every object in the room. But only in very smooth surfaces, that is, the tumbler, mirror, and this shiny pot. So kids, today we learned about reflection and its types, that is, diffuse and specular reflection. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.